The state of the world right now is, it's just, I, I think we can all agree it's, yeah, it's, it's that. Game Master's here, and what do you do when you just aren't feeling up to running a D&D &D session or playing that evening? What do you do when your spirits are low and a good fun time just seems too elusive? Perhaps you had a shit day or week at work, Perhaps there is a family issue going on, or just the state of the world is just too overwhelming. Personally, I use fantasy role-playing as a means to escape reality. I mean, it's kind of baked into the definition there. But yeah, sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Sometimes the day just equals suck. I know I've got five people coming over and they are expecting a fun evening of rolling dice and battling some made-up monsters as part of an ongoing adventure, but you know, the week has just been hell and it's taxing on my mind and I'm just not finding myself able to be terribly creative or descriptive with the adventure. So what do you do? Likewise, if you're a player and everyone is counting on you to play, but you just aren't feeling it, again, what do you do? You could always cancel the session, but if you're anything like me, that guilty conscience is going to set in and that usually makes me feel even worse. As a DM, I've got a couple of good standby pre-written one-shots that I can incorporate into my overall campaign for the situations like that, but as a player, that's obviously not going to be an option. And I don't want to just sit there like a lump while everyone else is depending on me to play my character. Also as a player, canceling is possibly not as detrimental to the overall game as the person running it is, but it does hinder the party. Every member of the party is vital. The warrior is needed, of course, to slash and hack. The healer is needed to, well, heal. And the rogue is needed to find traps and unlock doors. I mean, you guys know that, you know, how that all works. And when one player is missing, it's just not, it's not the same gaming experience. Do your best to recognize when someone just isn't feeling it. Agreed, it may be too late to shift gears if nothing's been said 30 minutes into the game, but generally, the DM or player isn't feeling it, and I'm talking really not feeling it, they're gonna speak up about it. Speaking of speaking up, I'd love it if this specific video is hitting home or helping you in any way to tap that like button. This is a topic that I feel doesn't get addressed often enough, and I'm seeing a lot of players and DMs going through some rough times right now. But by tapping that like button, it helps with that YouTube algorithm and spreads this out among other eyes. And of course, it'll help my day to suck a fair bit less, and I thank you for that. So here's my suggestion. Still gather if possible, regardless of how crummy the day or week has been. But instead of playing your campaign that requires critical thinking and diplomatic skills, uh, play a board game or watch a movie. Or if you are the DM, perhaps use this as an opportunity to let another player take the reins for the evening. Uh, perhaps you've got someone that wants to try running a game. Uh, besides, when was the last time you played instead of being the one that runs the entire game. Of course, you could always just push through. Perhaps 15 minutes into it, whatever has been on your mind might just melt away as you dissolve into your character or your campaign's world. I've been there too, just not feeling it, but pushing on anyways. And the next thing you know, blammo, you're out of your funk. Likewise, know too that you can always just cancel. I've never had anyone just never talk to me again on the rare occasions that I've had to can for the evening. Yeah, they're disappointed, but they all understood. Sometimes life just happens. Sometimes life has to happen. All of that said, it's not something that you should ever allow to add to your mind's troubles. There are always alternate options if you just aren't feeling up to playing. And of course, sometimes we just need to decompress from the day or week. For the DMs out there, when I get like this, my usual go-to is a good board game. Zombies is always a favorite, as is the Dungeons & Dragons Monopoly. But we've also all piled into the Jeep and just taken off to get some toxic smell, or we've hit the BK Lounge and come back to stream some Netflix. And while watching Netflix uh, with my friends, I'm going to make some strong mental notes of what we're watching, and I'll actually incorporate a specific element or theme from that movie into our next game. This is my silent nod to them, just saying thanks for letting me have a free evening of zero DM pressure when I just wasn't feeling up to it. For the players, you know, don't ever hesitate to let the other players and your DM know that you aren't just feeling it. Uh, go grab some pizza and just chill, watch a movie. 
I mentioned a bit ago about having some pre-made one-shots ready for circumstances like this. I'll also use some of the official Dungeons & Dragons adventures, or at least ones that I've not already butchered and fit into my um, overall campaign, that Wizards has published. Um, Candlekeep Mysteries is a great go-to because it's got several mini-adventures that are easy enough to turn into one-shots. Books like Call of the Netherdeep and Strixhaven, A Curriculum of Chaos, those are going to be a little more difficult to do um, simply because, well, they're more of a linear adventure, um, a large, long adventure. Uh, Rime of the Frostmaiden would be a good one, too, for one-shots. Well, sort of. Speaking of Netherdeep, a couple of weeks back, we got in our review copy of Call of the Netherdeep, and we've been examining that one pretty deep and in-depth. And if you'd like to see what all we found, you can check out that pl big playlist right here. What are some things that you guys do when you just aren't feeling it for game night? I'd love to hear what everyone else does. Let me know in the comments below, and until next our paths cross, may you have high spirits and fun times.